This is the Brightleaf Square in Durham, North Carolina. And I want to talk about this as an example of human factors and understanding information, providing information to drivers. This is a famous bridge for, also known as a can opener bridge. Trucks and any taller vehicles, RVs, will scrape going underneath this, this railroad bridge. And it's actually a sacrificial beam that's just in front of the railroad bridge so that the bridge itself isn't impacted by these vehicles. And over the years, it's been raised. It was 11 feet, eight inches of clearance previously, and it was raised six inches. Um, a lot of signs have been added. A dyna dynamic system has been added to monitor the height of vehicles and give them a warning. And just wanna show you some of the information that's provided to drivers and just think about the multiple opportunities they have to interpret the signs and information that are being provided. So this is one block in front of the bridge. We can see the bridge in the background of this image. We have signs that are posted at this intersection saying that in 350 feet, there's a low clearance of 12 feet, four inches. And then as we progress through this route on this block, we're gonna start seeing other signs and other information we see on the right side here a sign that says for trucks over 12 feet four inches they should turn right another sign that we're not seeing lit up at this moment but on the mast arm that holds the traffic signals it's currently blacked out but if a truck is over height that's going to flash that the truck is over height and tell them they should turn as we get closer here to the actual crossing Underneath the railroad bridge, we see again the 12 feet, four inch high clearance signs. We see thermo plastic or yellow paint on the sacrificial beam that's in front of the railroad tracks. We see also the chevrons or the delineators on those posts. So lots of information here to, to alert drivers that something is wrong. And again, we can see a little closer up view of the of the black, currently blacked out sign. And what that sign actually says is over height must turn. And so it'll be flashing if a over height vehicle is passing through. And again, we can see this in a little more detail, the beam that drivers hit. We can already see some paint that is, is knocked off of that beam because drivers have struck that beam. So a an interesting local example of a lot of information being provided to drivers and drivers still making those decisions. I'll post the video compilation, the video compilations for the strikes that have occurred and you can see that it's a very consistent problem.